Hi friends, today I am going to draw a, a flange. Uh, this is a weld neck flange PM250 and DL 150 Here you can see I have already assigned some dimension from the standard data book. And uh, now I will make it reason. This type R E G. Enter for reason and uh, select the object. Click enter. And now click on the isometric view. And here some uh, background lines are available. So to remove that, just press F7. And uh, now click this. And uh, first of all, we have to choose the command revolve. For that, type R E V for revolve. And press enter. Now select the object. And enter. Now select the point. Around which we are going to revolve this. So I will select this point. And now the angle of revolve. So I will uh, type it 360 degree and enter. Here you can change also Q from 2D wireframe to realistic or uh, some other way. I will change the realistic. Here you can see uh, now we have to make some holes over this uh, flange. So uh, we have to align this is just uh, reverse it. Uh, you can see that this is Y and Z axis. We have to align it. X and Y axis. For that, we have to type U C S. Enter. And now you can press the view or directly just click the view. Here you can see that uh, this is line into X and Y axis. And now we have to draw the circle. So first of all, we decide the PCB of this of this circle line. For that, we have to press C. Enter. And make this point adjust center and now make the radius uh, this is diameter of 350 320 sorry so I will type the radius uh, 160 160 and radius and here this is the uh, circle uh, I will draw a uh, hole over the circle so that C enter and make the hole and uh, the hole size is 36 so that we will uh, type the radius of 80 mm. That's it. Now we have to draw uh, uh, two a number of holes. For that, I'm going to just add it. You can click here and modify to go just add it. You can also type A double R E Y for L and uh, select the object. Press enter. Here you can choose the polar, the circular part, and now decide center point. I will choose this in point. And uh, for number, to enter the number of items, uh, just click on the items, or uh, you can also type I. Enter. And here number of items are 12. System. Now just stamp this. And here you can. Uh, Develop, uh, you can rotate uh, this by pressing shift key and your mouse will button here uh, now we can delete this and uh, now I am going to uh, just uh, make this hole for that we, uh, I will use the command press pull so, Type P R E W S and enter. Here you can uh, just just select the whole of the process now. Feeling so clear, so you can also I will try this in to be button. Here now I will take a look at the press put and we can also extrude the use of the command in text extrude like this uh, here we this is another issue because this is the uh, Array, so we have to 
uh, we need to explore this so I x for explore enter now this is a separate post even we use the best thing Type more. You take the top side. Just click on the whole and the top side. We have to do for the all the holes. You can also use the export command for the same thing. Just click the holes and click the top side. Outside means uh, uh, more than uh, exploded to uh, more than its thickness. So this is Subtract and now click the uh, bigger image object from which we are going to subtract. Now enter and click on the objects which we want to remove from the and you can notice by pressing your shift and click button. So uh, make this corner as fillet. So uh, to do this, we need to use the command fillet from modify timber and then uh, solid editing. Here you can see the fillet edges and the click on the edges and keep the radius of fillet R enter keep the radius of uh, one mm. this corner and just enter and you can see this is also radius so friend this is a type of uh, flange we call the weld neck flange and uh, you can draw this using after that now you can see and then now I will delete the unwanted items and you can also assign the color for this or the for this for that we need to uh, M8 for nitrate and this will take a little bit of time to appear here And you can see how the metal list is ready uh, here. So we can assign the metal whichever we want. And 
experience and try the automatically you can see its color changes in Assign the other matrix as you want it. And here's some you can choose from its type. You can assign whatever you want. This is already. Um, to rotate this, you can use this command. We have three types of rotate. Free orbit continuous orbit and orbit. For continuous orbit, you just click uh, here and you can see this type of rotation. It takes place. Thank you.